Hello everybody and welcome back. Last episode, she came down here and she's sharing the campfire with Candace. Now Candace has requested some help from Bellany and she is more than happy to lend a hand. So we've got a couple of quests to do. Uh, we've got to uh, defeat some white hand orcs and then we've also got to collect some of those nasty Crabane crow eyes. Get rid of those troublemakers, hopefully once and for all. I think we're going to try to do the orcs first. I'm going to check the map and see what's closest to us. Um, we're here. It looks like... Well, it looks like the Crabane could be anywhere here also. So maybe we'll just end up getting them both at the same time. Uh, if you're enjoying my series, please subscribe. I do appreciate it very, very much. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do here. Before we get started, I think I'm just going to have some breakfast. So, let's see how tough these guys are. That is not a crabane. Although it looks like one. I don't think it's one. You know what? Let's try to fire on it and just see, but I don't I don't know. Oh, it is a crabane. Alrighty then. Go on up this path. Oh, and now we've got a Crabane Slayer deed. Well, that's going to be a pleasure to fulfill. There's another one right ahead of me. Looks like they're all over that hill over there. That's pretty good. Alright, I thought I saw another Crabane here somewhere. Oh well, we're going to go up here and see what we can see at the top of this ridge here. Aha!
We need to find some ranged orcs. I haven't seen any yet. See if we can take a peek from over here. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. I knew they had to be here somewhere. Glum Hollow. Look at them all. We hit the jackpot. <laughs> he didn't see me. Alright, those are done. Now. There's got to be a way to get to the archers. Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy from over here. I think we got all the archers though. Um, let's see. You don't even know who's firing on you, dude. You can't even see me. I did not mean to do that. Oh no. Number 22. Oh my god. <laughs> Bellany. Oh no. You got yourself in a pickle, girl. These guys are tough. Okay. 
We still need two more archers, so I think... Here, look at this guy. Don't want to mess with those messengers. Um, oh, there's a, there is a supply box. You know what that means. Must have. All right, well, we're gonna get our quest done before we go off and do something stupid. Want to get that supply box though, and there's somebody else in the camp. done. So we need to go back to uh, Candy. There he is. Fantastic. Okay. All right, Candace, I'm back. I was able to do the task. There's a lot of orcs. What can I do for you? Oh, I thank you, Bellany. But my thanks are tempered with concern. I've never seen a force of orcs like this in Eriador before today. Organized and well-provisioned. They hold an encampment in an outlet within the Midgewater Pass and bear a strange charge on their banners and shields, one that I've not seen before. Their numbers at this camp are great, but the day may come when we can drive them howling from the lowlands. Not today, I fear, but perhaps not so far off. There's another matter that demands our attention. An urgent matter. We will see to the destruction of their camp in the Midgewater Pass later. Okay. How can I be of service? As I began my search for Radagast near the Midgewater Pass, I witnessed an orc messenger depart in great haste. Quickly, I followed him, trailing him eastward along the shoulder of the hills and then south, but my search was interrupted. I could follow no further, for foul Crevane circled above, and to be discovered would do greater injury to our work than I can permit. Once again I must call upon your aid. The messenger likely carries with him orders to the outlying camps. If you can intercept the messenger, we may learn the nature of these orders. So armed, we'll be better equipped to deal with the threat. You know what? I ran into some messages earlier. So I think that I'll be able to find this fellow as well. Alrighty, we'll then search among the camps and return to me with the orders that this messenger surely possess. While I wait, I will seek sign of Radagast's passage elsewhere. Okay. I did get some of those dang bird eyes for you, though. Greetings. Oh, though it seems an ignoble task, I tell you plainly this was necessary. The Cribane are spies for eyes from afar, and they seek some grand prize here. With all that I've seen in these lands of late, I fear that there's some great wheel turning, and I can only hope that our part can slow its progress. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm going to get more, too. My pleasure. <laughs> All right, so we need to go and find the messenger. Uh, and like I say, we've, we've already dealt with them. So this shouldn't be too difficult a task. Unless it's a different messenger than the ones that we found. We shall see. don't really want to ride Cory right now. I think we want to just be a little quiet. Let's 
showing us this way for the messenger. So. Anywhere here. There. Got the orders. Fantastic. Let's get back. Alrighty, sir, that did not take long at all. What can I do for you? These orders are written in the black speech, Bellany. A tongue I've never desired to learn. I should have been prepared for this, but I hoped we would learn something useful immediately. While you were seeking those orders, I followed signs of Radagast through the hills. I was not alone in this pursuit as a patrol of orcs soon happened upon my location. I was forced to break off my pursuit and I lost my bow. It was a close thing, Bellany, a close encounter that yielded insight into the orcs' leadership. What can I do for you? I would have easily evaded the orcs I pursued were it not for the war master that traveled with them. Uzor is what they called him, and gave to him what respect that their kind reserve for their strongest and fiercest warriors. It's likely that Uzor returned to Bleak Rift within the Midgewater Pass, for that seemed to be his domain. He must be slain, and whatever orders were given him recovered. Bleak Rift is northwest of here, on the northeastern edge of the Midwater, Midgewater Pass surrounded by a shallow body of water. Defeat War Master Uzor and look for a letter of some kind. Return to me victorious and we will discuss further what must be done. It's likely a dangerous place, so be careful. And I'll keep up my search. Alrighty. Do you have anything else for me before I go? The orcs took my bow from me. And while it would not be difficult to make a new one, I'm loath to be parted from it. It's very dear to me, for it was passed down from my grandfather to my father and from my father to me. One of the War Master Uzor's archers has surely taken it for his own. Search the vicinity of the Midgewater Pass for archers bearing the mark of the White Hand. If you're truly brave, look too within Bleak Rift to the northwest. I've seen many archers in that place from a fair distance and one of them might have taken my bow. Okay. How can I be of service? While you trek within Bleak Rift searching for Uzor, be on the lookout also for lock boxes or anything that has the appearance of value that they may have stolen. If my hunch of Radagast is correct, then this will prepare you well for the future and the possibility of dealing with a variety of people here in the Lone Lands. I will say nothing more of them now, as they're a private people, and it's not for me to reveal their secrets. You will know what I speak of should you see them, but you keep your search centered around the Bleak Rift. Okay. All right, well, well, we've got a lot to do. We've got to collect a bow. We've got to look for some lock boxes. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, where is... Okay, so that is right there. So that has to be our first order of business. All right.
what I need might be down there. Oh, I got his bow. Fantastic. Okay, so now we just need to do the lock boxes and get this Uzor. Okay, this has to be it. This is one crazy place. Oh, <gasps> okay, now, um, there's a lockbox. Alrighty, dude, you coming this way, you gonna get it from me. Lockbox. Okay, I need seven more of those. At least now we know what they look like. Oh, look at all the lock boxes over there. Okay. No. Oh. Get these lock boxes.
think that was all of them. Yep. Okay. We still need to get three, three more. I'm hoping they're in this camp. It looks like who we're after is not. Is, oh, it's going to be over there. Okay. I gotta check and see if there's a lockbox over there, though. Yep, there is. Okay. There he is right there. And there's a, the last lockbox and the letter. Here we go. Got him. Get the letter. And get the lockbox. Done teal. Okay, we are done here. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we gotta get out. Uh Okay then. I don't think that's going to be a shortcut. I think that's going to be death. jump down there. Why not? There we go. I want to go this way. I'm going to be good.
Fantastic. All right, everybody. Uh, I think what we'll do is leave the episode here and turn in these quests uh, next time. And I want to thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and subscribe. And I do hope to see you next time. Take care, all. Bye-bye now.